So we need to keep chipping away at this project if we have any hopes at all of finishing this rocket ride in time for the uh, birthday party in October. And the weather outside has been really bad lately. I really hope this isn't a sign of things to come this summer. But we'd created that whole uh, flow chart of all the things that need to get done to get this project done. And I divided it up between inside and outside jobs. And we really need some inside jobs today. We still have some stuff left over from our uh, checklist from last time on finishing up the prototype rocket car. So that's what we're gonna get into. So one of the projects I wanna tackle today is designing the straps that the rocket car hangs from. Now there's two of these straps that wrap around the car. These are one of the original ones here. And uh, it's a pretty rough shape. It's been welded on, it's been bent up. And I just uh, really don't wanna reuse these old ones. It's nothing special. It's just 3 16 inch uh, steel one inch wide has some holes in and it's bent to wrap around the rocket car. Now there's two of them, one in the front and one of the rear. Uh, the only change I'm gonna make is I'm gonna have these pieces laser cut and I'm gonna have them put square holes in here so it'll hold the head of a carriage bolt and not spin on me when I'm tightening them up. Other than that, uh, I think we're gonna keep the design pretty much the same. So another thing I wanna take care of is some additional bracing for the dashboards where the steering wheels are gonna mount. Let me uh, get you over there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is the front dashboard of the car and we're gonna have two steering wheels mounted on here using those brackets that we cast out of aluminum in an earlier episode. Uh, and they're just gonna be bolted here. My concern is that this is just half inch plywood and you can see there it's got some flex to it. And over time, uh, you know, kids grab it on these steering wheels and stuff. I just wanna beef this up a little bit. So I wanna run a metal brace uh, behind here to help support this. The bolts that hold the steering wheel on will actually go through the wood and through the metal brace and that should stiffen everything up. Now my hanging strap that we were just talking about, that's gonna go roughly up through here to hang the car from. So the bolt that goes through here uh, to hold the strap to the uh, tub here, I'm gonna have that bolt uh, hopefully also go through this metal strap on the inside and kind of tie everything together. Now I wanna make three of these uh, straps. I wanna do one behind the front dashboard, one behind the rear dashboard, and then another one behind the rear seat, and that'll line up with the rear hanging straps. So as I mentioned, there's not really a whole lot to these straps. Uh, the biggest issue is finding hole locations that aren't gonna interfere with anything. Now I am not going to supply CAD files uh, to the laser shop. Uh, I'm just going to supply these drawings because I don't specifically know what the allowances are for bending metal. I'll let them figure all that out. I'll just show them what the finished product I want is. The brace that I'm making for the rear dashboard, similar to the front except it has an angle on so that it can fit between the seat back and the dash. So it's a Thursday night and I am heading over to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Carnival season has officially begun and we're going over to see uh, Penn Valley shows. They're set up outside of a stadium. And uh, Majestic Midways is also booked in with them. Majestic has three pieces there, the new double eagle Ferris wheel, along with their rock star ride and uh, the monkey maze will all be there. Of course, uh, Penn Valley's own equipment, which we haven't seen here on the channel before, so we'll be checking that out. So I'm starting here with the Majestic Rides because they were on the west side of the lot and I was trying to keep the setting sun to my back. This was actually Majestic's first time out with the Double Eagle. The rest of the rides all belong to Penn Valley. It's kind of funny that they chose the name Fireball for their Roundup because Rubitz actually made a ride called the Fireball, which looked nothing like a Roundup. <laughs> If you followed this channel for any length of time, you know that I'm a huge lover of nostalgia. And there's nothing more nostalgic than seeing old Ireley Aircraft Company equipment still out there working. I believe these are new graphics for this year on the Dragon Wagon.
This little train is owned by Huey's Amusements. They were also booked in on this show. And of course, it wouldn't be a carnival without games and food. I really like the video displays wrapped around this concession trailer. So this week's Ride of the Week comes to us from the pages of usedrides.com. And this isn't sponsored in any way, but I do have permission to use their pictures. This is just a cool old Ferris wheel I found on there that's looking for a new owner. This is a 12-seat Garbrick wheel on a trailer, and uh, it's currently running. This appears to be in the hills of Hendersonville, North Carolina. Doesn't look like it would take too much work to get this out on the road, although it is an old cable drive, so you gotta have the skill to run it. And that's been this week's Ride of the Week. Join us next week for another Forgotten Ride. Well, it's been a few days, and I got pieces back from the uh, laser shop, and uh, we talked to the guys there that were doing the fabrication, and we ended up making all three of these straps. Uh, that go behind the dashboard for support. We made them all the same. Uh, and I mentioned one of these has to be cut at a little angle there so that it fits. And we just decided that it would be easier uh, to cut that angle after the fact. So I don't know whether we'll just cut them uh, on the bandsaw or, or just grind them or whatever we'll do, but uh, we'll take care of that here uh, in-house. And we also got the, uh, the hang straps back too. And I'm real happy with how these turned out. Uh, we got our hole for uh, the chain, the hanger, and then we got our square holes for the carriage bolts. And I did already check, and these do fit nicely uh, around the tub. So we got that going for us. So uh, next time around, uh, we're gonna get all of this put together. I'm pretty happy with the progress we're making. Uh, you're not seeing it, but there's actually uh, a backlog of footage that I have uh, recorded of little steps in progress we've made along the way. I'm being slowed down a little bit by my change of uh, editing software, still getting used to that. So that's kind of holding us up a little bit, but uh, hopefully here in the near future, I'll have you caught up to date. And uh, if you wanna make sure you don't miss out on any of that, Click that link to the left and come along for the ride. There you go. Alright, put your helmet on. Yeah. Is that why you wear bandana? Put down!